if you're anything like me, uh, which consists of having no life, loving to stay inside, even when you're in the most beautiful places, for watching Netflix, I'm binge watching a bunch of TV shows. Here are some of my top picks that I watch. This can help, I'm not trying to influence you or influence anybody to stay up or try to finish watching these between a certain amount of time. This is the shows that I binge watched have or am binge watching right now uh, that I like and that I recommend. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to have two parts. This is going to have two parts and each one of them is going to have around 12. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Before you get started, if you liked any of these shows, you've watched them or you're planning on watching them because of my recommendation then make sure to comment that down below because I'd really like to know if you liked it or if you're watching it there's like fish like flying up out of the water it's cool anyways um then comment those down below I'd really like to know if you liked it or comment that down below uh like this video if you like it um and subscribe if you're not subscribed already let's go ahead and get started the number one pick that i have is, and that is the one that i'm watching right now it is american horror story it is uh kind of scary it it's very suspenseful uh it's a little different from the other stuff that i've watched um each season is a different theme so like the first season was about a murder house. The second season was about an asylum. The third season was about a covenant. And the fourth one that I'm watching right now is the freak show. They're not, it's not like Grey's Anatomy or the Fosters or Swiss Shepherds where all of them are all lined up together. What this happens is gonna affect this and this and this. It's really scattered on different themes. Number two. Number two is The Secret Life of an American Teenager. It's a teen show. Uh, if you haven't heard of it or if you haven't watched it, then maybe you should just read a little bit about it. I don't really know how to explain it because if I explain it, it'll just come off really weird. Number three, Glee. Glee is actually a really good show. Most people are like, hey, like it's awful. If you actually watch it and you're into musicals and and like high school like TV shows like that, it's actually really good. Um, high school like relationships and stuff. So that's that's really cool. Four is Gossip Girl. Obviously, this is just like a well-known one that everyone should watch. But if you're if you haven't watched it or if you're watching it right now, it's really good. I liked it. More, it's a teen show. Number five. The 100. It is like a space war kind of thing. Um, I didn't start watching it on Netflix, but it is it's on Netflix, so I thought that that would be a good one if you're starting to watch. Number six, The Tomorrow People. I really like this show. It's it's based off of the tele tele teleportation. It's like really futuristic and stuff and they have to like try to hide from the government and stuff. Number seven. Uh, the next one is my obvious choice which would be Grey's Anatomy. Obviously I love Grey's Anatomy. Um, I binge watched it last summer and got 12 seasons. Okay, I'm not good at math but here it is. Okay, 12 seasons times 45 minutes each episode which, which has about 25 episodes per season. So there's 12 se or there's 11 seasons. Right now there's 12. 12 seasons times 24 times whatever that calculates to, times 45 equals a lot. Number nine. Number nine is another doctor show, Heart of Dixie. It doesn't really have a lot of doctoring. It's just like when I was searching around after I watched Grey's Anatomy, I found Emily Owens, M Emily Owens, MD, and Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie only had a few surgery scenes, and they weren't actually that good. It was more focused on relationships and stuff like that. Number ten. Number ten is fosters i watched the fosters i made reviews and recaps tons of them of the fosters i really like that remember i don't have any more hands 
11. Number 11 is Dance Academy. I don't remember, I don't think I finished watching it. I think I just found the scenes that I wanted to do on, that I wanted to see online and then I did it. Uh, number 12 is kind of like Sex in the City but it's kind of a teen version. It is Carrie Diaries. It has two seasons. Uh, Anna Sophia Robb is the main character with Austin Butler and another great cast it also had kyle harris who's in the stitchers for a little bit of the first season and some of the second i believe so that was really good that's where i'm going to stop it because i'm cutting these into two parts um i really i hope that you guys like this and i hope that you guys watch some of uh and i hope that you watch some of these during the summer or just anytime that you are bored on netflix so here there's some few suggestions of mine that Take uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your consideration. If you like this video, make sure to give it, a, give it a thumbs up, comment any video requests, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. It's free, and it just notifies you whenever my next video comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your consideration. Bye.